India's anti-satellite weapon The question raised over India's anti-satellite weapons capacity are doubtless important. Even if New Delhi does have an anti-satellite weapons capability, it will only be acknowledged if it comes out in the open with a successful test. But such a demonstration will come with its own costs. What would be the consequences if New Delhi decided to demonstrate its purported anti-satellite capability? After testing the over 5,000 km Agni-5 missile, which traveled up to 600 km into space during its parabolic trajectory, the Defense Research and Development Organization ERVO now feels it can fashion deadly anti-satellite weapons in double quick time. Agni-5 launch has opened a new era in developing space weapons. Apart from adding a new dimension to our strategic defense, it has ushered in fantastic opportunities in, say, building anti-satellite weapons and launching mini-slash-micro-satellites on demand. The anti-satellite weapon would include marrying Agni-V's propulsion system with the killed vehicle of the under-development two-tier BMD ballistic missile defense system that has been tested a few times to track and destroy hostile missiles both inside and o and outside exo the Earth's atmosphere. An anti-satellite weapon would require to reach about 800 km altitude. Agni-5 will give the boosting capability and the killed vehicle, with advanced seekers, will be able to home into the target satellite. The government had not given its nod for the anti-satellite program. India does not believe in weaponization of space. DRVO is only contemplating about having the capability. There are no firm plans for offensive space capabilities. The fact, however, Remains there is a rethink on the entire issue ever since China shocked the world by using an anti-satellite weapon to destroy an old satellite Beijing has set a scorching pace in developing advanced anti-satellite capabilities with direct ascent missiles, hit-to-kill kinetic and directed energy laser weapons. The Defense Ministry in 2010 had even drafted a 15-year technology perspective and roadmap which helped development of anti-satellite weapons for electronic or physical destruction of satellites 2,000 km altitude above Earth's surface and geosynchronous orbits the thrust area. Consequently, apart from directed energy weapons, Defense scientists are focusing on space security to protect India's space assets from electronic or physical destruction. Another spin-off from Agni-5 test is that the DRVO feels it can't work towards launching mini-satellites for battlefield use if an adversary attacks the country's main satellites. The mini-satellites will provide communication navigation and some sort of GPS to armed forces for a limited time. Agni-5 in itself is a stronger booster shot for India's dissuasive deterrence posture, bringing as it can a whole of China under its strike envelope. An even more potent missile with MERV multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles warheads is in the pipeline, which is likely to be named Agni-6. DRDO Chief who was then a researcher in the Arms Control and Non-Proliferation Program at the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, claimed that India's scientific community is open to an ASAT test, if it was done with caution. Project Swery Rajagotlan, senior fellow at the Observer Research Foundation, a New Delhi-based think tank, said that India might do an ASAT test in the next five to ten years. These statements are illuminating as to the going-ons in India's academic and scientific circles. Actually testing India's supported ASAT capacity is easier said than done. As pointed out by Arvind Kumar, Professor of Geopolitics and International Relations at Manipal University, ASAT capabilities require a number of technologies related to space-based sensors, synthetic aperture radars, electronics, the sound navigation system, guidance and control, and global positioning systems. The number of different types of sensors, including infrared sensors, 
optical sensors, electronic optical sensors, and magnetic sensors are vital to monitor, detect, and help in sensing the events. Weather India has the ability to acquire. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.